Thank you, Lexi. Today is definitely going to be a nice day outside. Well, Mother's Day is a day to have a fun breakfast, and we have some ideas for you this morning. We've been sharing them all morning long, and Maya and her mom are in the kitchen right now, giving us a taste of an easy recipe you can do at home to celebrate mom this Sunday. Maya, how's it going in there? Thanks, Hunter. With Mother's Day in just a few days, who doesn't love breakfast in bed? I know my mother oh, loved it growing up. I do, up. I do. <laughs> so we have an easy recipe, but before that, I'm going to send it to Mitch in the morning, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what you need to be doing for Mother's Day. Gentlemen, we've been trying to remind you all week, this is your fifth and final reminder that Mother's Day is this Sunday. So if you have not picked out what you're going to get, now it's time to pay attention to see some homemade treats for your mom at home. Awesome. And if you haven't picked up a gift for her, well, we have the perfect thing for breakfast yes. in the bed. So we have some stuffed um, pancakes or stuffed waffles. Either way, some people don't like waffles. I don't know why. They taste the same to me. But if you don't, we're going to be making it. So what you need is you need some biscuits, mm. you need some Nutella, you need some fruit, any fruit that you like, and you're going to need some powdered sugar and, of course, syrup later on uh, once you're finished making it. Right. So what we're going to do is first we're going to take out a biscuit and we're going to make it as flat as we can. So you're going to flatten it out. All Ooh, right. I love this. Yes, we don't have a rolling pin, so we just got to do what we can. <laughs> then you're going to take some Nutella, and we're just going to put it on top of this biscuit as much as you can, spread it out. And you're going to want to do this to both sides. All right. So I have to do that. And while she's doing that, I'm going to take some of the fruit and I'm going to lay it on here. We have some bananas. Maybe we'll add a strawberry on here, and that should be good, I think. Yes, okay. it looks yummy. It does. So then we're going to take this side of it, and we're going to put it on top of the piece that you just made with the fruit on it. You're going to smash down the sides to make it all one little thing. Then you're going to put it inside your waffle maker and close the lid. Real simple. You don't even have to do that much work, but this is what the outlook looks like afterwards. We have some waffles over here. It has the fruit and the chocolate on the inside, and we even have some pancakes as well. It has the chocolate and fruit on the inside. Top it off with some powdered sugar. Throw some fruit on top of it, and it looks delicious. Should Maya, we try it? You didn't even get your apron dirty. I didn't. I know. I love Imagine it. that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> well, let's try a bite of this. You're going to go for the oh, pancake. Pancake. I'll go for the waffle. Here we go. All You're right. Just missing some butter just to drip over. I know, all Mitch. Of that. I know. You'll have to get a bite of this too, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ready? Ready. Mmm. Mm. Okay, your mom. What do you think? Perfect. A plus. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll have to send it back to y'all. But before we go, um, before we go to break, we're gonna go look at some pictures some mother sent in uh, for our competition.